Hi all, welcome to the Compact Cave with Rufus Roughcut. What I'm going to show you in this series of videos is how we can turn a 4.5 metre by a 4.5 metre working environment into a modern workshop with some space saving ideas. So without further ado, let me show you what we've got to actually work with and then I'll work through in a series of videos of how to make some space saving ideas. So this is what we've got. So this is what the missus has allowed me to commandeer. This is our front room, but this is the um, the little cubby hole under the stairs. Little Aladdin's cave of bits and bobs. Some nice stuff in there. And if we come through the kitchen, this is the entrance to the compact cave. Bit of a dumping ground at the moment, and that's our objective is to try to make some space and utilize what little space we've got we've got a toilet to the right there but if we do come in to the compact cave this is our compact cave we've got our saw here which is too big to be portable bandsaw there again too big to be portable but what what we're hoping to achieve to achieve with this video is this space over here, again, we've utilized the back of the door with loads of storage, but we want to amend the clamps. So we're gonna have a little ladder of clamps up there. Then this space here, we're gonna have semi-portable devices like the drill press, sharpening station, polishing station, sanding station we've also got the triton dual mode precision plunge router then we've got the arbala plunge saw all this is going to have to be moved we're going to have a shelf right across the top of that door there all the way across there to put some storage wood what have you similar to that so the up the um objective of this is to create some space utilize the space with some space saving ideas but that's what i want to put up is that shelving there which is industrial garage shelving which will go here to create a bit of space and again we're gonna create some utilize that a bit better as to what it is it's one little 4b2 I'm just going to put a ladder of 4b2s up there and <coughs> attach the clamps excuse me I've got a bit of a head cold but attach the clamps and try and utilize that space a bit better and hopefully you'll join me in there in the process there'll be a series of videos just to show you what you can do with a four and a half meter by four and a half meter little room so yeah let's get on with it Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Ten long ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five bit shelf stringers, present and correct. Eight uprights, all present and correct. Five boards, 
problem with the lighting now. I bought it all present and correct. And we've got these. Check for the little screws if there's any in there. Obviously some corner brackets for something, not quite sure. But there should be eight of them and there is eight of them. And then we've got these which are called D. Probably to join them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, everything's present and correct. Now asses for some drill bits. Pencil, screwdriver, electric drill, raw plugs, obviously to fasten it to the wall. We'll put them there. And I'll have a little look through these instructions now. Right, it's tiny. Add a look at the instructions. Um, they're basic enough, actually. Looks quite, uh, it looks really flimsy, but I've been assured that when it's erected, it's quite a sturdy little piece of kit. So, one thing, I'm not going to put the bottom shelf on. That there to there is, let me measure it. Hundred eighty mil, because that's where it should be, there, and that's the bottom. So I'm just going to leave that open, and I'm going to put what I need straight on the floor, and I'm just going to have the four shelves. I've worked out where they roughly need to be, so let's have a look, and I'll start erecting them. The first thing I need to do is I want to put the feet on. These they're um, they're like little buttons. Pop them in there and they drop down there and they lock in. Want some feet on there and then we need to join two of these together. So let's have a look at trying to put some of these feet on. Let's take them apart first. So that goes on there. So shoulder and we're not putting the bottom shelf on it won't matter any it won't make any difference that's the foot on foot is on if that's that's got to be pointing upwards apparently yep that's correct we'll put one on this one And the unfortunate thing is, I've had a look, I don't need any tools. The only tools, or the only time you're going to need tools with this is when you want to secure it to the wall or the floor. I will secure it to the wall, just in case there's an earthquake. Which, believe it or not, I have experienced in Wales many, many years ago. Quite a surreal experience. Sat in the chair watching daytime telly waiting to go to work on an afternoon shift when everything started shaking i had to check whether i'd been drinking or not really quite weird but there you go that's earthquakes for you So, yeah, pop them in. That's home. Put that in that side. And up 
so then that goes on there like so yep that's the one so that meets in the middle there that's one leg put that aside Number two. You can have these side by side and have two two wide, but this is going straight up in the air. I'm trying to save floor space. So the more up in the air it is, as across the floor, the better. Right, that's that. So I'm gonna put one on the top. To put one on the top, yes. So I'm going to try. The instructions don't actually tell you where to start, I don't think. But these are the four legs. We've got the um, ten of these, which are that are going across the length, back and front, and ten of these, which are left and right, made of brackets to keep everything together. They're the um, mid shelf. Strengtheners and other shelves, six mil thick. We'll see. We'll see. So let's put. Doesn't matter where it goes. We're going to put one of these on the top. And when you fit in these, there's a lip here, and then on here there's a lip that's inset. The shelf sits on the top, flush with the top of that. So that's the way they should be fitted. So we're going to go very top. If you can see that, let's move up a bit. There we go. So that's very top. Two top notches side piece other side piece are we still on cam yes we are so that's a side let's put that there I'll do the other side that shelf piece is at the top and other side Let's them two together. Okay, and let's get the width, if you like. Shelf it at the top.
that's your basic structure. One, two, three. Seventeen, sixteen, that way round. Put it on the inside. That's it. That's it. Let's give it a little thump. Yep. Start to come together. Let's get the other. In. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, I think it was, if I remember rightly. I'll check it in a second. Your fingers, boy. There we go. Let's just check if that's on a level. Oh, that's clever. Throw your level on the floor. Oh, clever boy. Yeah, that's level. this front piece on. Remembering to keep that lip at the top. The duo lipper. Have a look on that. Yeah, there we go. That's it. on there. Back down here now. You can see that with a bench in the way. Put this flipping big drill press. This it's going on the floor. Uh, we'll wangle that in. We, we, I don't know if you can see it. 10 mil. But uh, easily flip that in. That's what I want. I want that like that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'll show you in a bit what that means. Now the beauty of this is you can shift these shelves around without having to disassemble it. Put a shelf on that. So I'll show you what I mean. Still a bit unsturdy at the moment. That is going to live on the floor. A drill press. It's a little shy there. So all we do, tilt, it's in. Piece of wood on that, plenty of headroom. Let's put a shelf on, see where we are. We want one of these in. Get a pair of pliers and we bend them to 90 degrees. Pop them in there, and that's our mid shelf strengthener. There we have that, it's getting sturdy already. Thing. I don't want that one there. Could go the other way around. 
and them two can go together, but I was thinking of putting this on. Try to route it. Get on. Turn that round. Push that up there. We'll get that on as well. Sticking out a bit. It may be dangerous to take one of them off. Put it on. That's what I'm looking at. So, where do we need this now? Gonna go up there. That is, in fact, the wrong way round. I spotted Mr. Jones. Get one out. Plenty of room there. <laughs> bracket support. Mid shelf bracket support. In there. Shelf. Out. Fingers. Turn that around. A bit bowed that way. Better. Yeah, that's fine. Look at this now. A couple of saws, one plunge saw, and one other type of saw. So, where do we want this? Check if we can get these out. It's this uh, bar uh, which I'm worried about. Is that enough? Let's have a look. Where are we on this now then? We need to go up a touch on the camera, don't we? There we go. Can we get this out? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if we can get that in there afterwards. We'll have a look. Let's try that. We can always move it around. And you see, it's quite um, modular in a way you can and adjust things without disassembling everything. It's quite a nice piece of kit, to tell you the truth. You see, they're modular, you can buy um, brackets and all sorts to go with these, and then just add on and take away and whatever. You Let's try the back. Didn't I? Okay. Got 
this thing. Yeah, so that's that, basically. And there is, over there, in the corner, that box there will go underneath there, next to the drill stand. So I'm going to put that in place, come back to you, and show you. I wonder if I can get a bit more room on it. Anyway, let's have a look at that now. I'll get it in place and I'll show you a bit more. So there it is in situ. That saved a lot of space. So the next step is sorting out them clamps over there. We kind of did a clamp rack from floor to ceiling. We've got one row at the moment. Clamp rack from floor to ceiling. Let's see how that looks. If you want to join us to see the next installment, please subscribe. You'll get a notification of when it comes along. Thanks for watching. See you soon. So what I've done with this brand um, shelving system is I've actually put the straps around the sides and the back and the other side because these legs, if they're not supported enough, they will buckle. I've left the shelf off, but I've just put the straps on. So these are like just slid in on the floor, but make sure you put the straps on as close to the bottom as you can. Stop the legs buckling.